Hey, how's it going everyone? Eric here from allthingsnerd.com. We're going to show you how to set up remote access so that you can access your computer from any other computer anywhere in the world uh, that is internet connected. Um, first thing you have to do is enable uh, remote connections for the computer. Um, I'm using Windows 7. Uh, to get to that area, you just click the, uh, the start menu or the little Windows orb. Look at computer and then you need to right click and go to properties. On the left hand side click on remote settings and then you'll need to make sure that the top checkbox for allow remote assistance connections to this computer make sure that's checked and then down below I use the middle section which is uh, a moderately secure connection uh, it just allows any computer that's running a remote desktop to be able to connect so that's what I use. Uh, as far as selecting users um, if you only have one account you can obviously use that. You will need to have this password protected so just make sure that if you log into this computer when you boot up for example as long as you can log in this will work just fine. Uh, I would make this a, a pretty secure password. Um, the issue here obviously is if someone has your IP address they could connect to your computer um, and if the password is not secure I think it's pretty obvious they'd be able to get in and do whatever they wanted with your machine. So make sure it's a secure password. Once you've got that set, uh, you're all set. Now the computer itself is able to, uh, to allow remote connections. So click OK. Uh, the next thing you need to do is get to your router control panel. Um, to do that, it's, it's usually a 192.168 IP address that you can see up here. This is just a Firefox window. To get your IP address for your router, it's probably the same as mine, or only one digit off, but if you just click, again, the little Windows orb, and then under uh, the little search bar here, type in CMD, that's for a command prompt. And once you've got the little black box here, the command prompt window, type in IPconfig, I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G, and hit enter. Just going to expand this here, and what you're looking for is the default gateway. Your computer probably isn't going to have as many of these entries as mine does. Um, again, looking for the Ethernet adapter if you're hardwired or if you're on wireless, um, there'd be a wireless uh, title here. But again, just look for the default gateway, and you can see again that it's 192.168.0.1. That's what's called an internal IP address. Um, this is actually the IP address of your router. The IPv4 address is the IP address of your computer. You'll also want to take note of that one, uh, the 192.168.0. And that it's, it's, it's probably, again, going to be similar, 101, 102, somewhere in that range, depending on how many computers you have on your network. But again, you'll need the IPv4 address, which is the computer that you're sitting on, and then the default gateway, which is your router. Uh, so once you've got a note of those, you can close out of this. And again, to get to... To get to your router, all you have to do is type in that 192.168.0.1, um, or if yours is uh, .1.1, uh, whatever the IP config uh, black box showed you there. Hit enter, brings you to the router. Um, you should have this secured as well, that way nobody can change your, your settings. Um, specifically here, I'm using a D-Link DIR655. Uh, the options are going to be fairly similar. In most other routers, but if you're using a D-Link, this is exactly what you'll have to do. What we're looking for inside of the router is the port forwarding option. And what this does is when someone types in your external IP address, or when you do that to access your computer at home while you're away, is that uh, it's your external uh, IP address, and then the, the port, port forward, what this does is it points it to the internal IP address from the router. Um, because if you use your external, it doesn't know which computer or which device on the network to access. So what we're going to do is we're going to, again, use the port forward feature so that when you type in your external IP address, it ends up at your, at your computer. Uh, so in the DIR655 router page, it's actually under advanced. And then port forwarding. Uh, again, different routers will have different, uh, you know, areas where you set these things, but uh, they should all say port forwarding or port forward um, very very close so and what we have to do here the one we're looking at is this one right here um, I've named it Eric DSK for Eric desktop that's where it's going um, 
you can name it anything you want. Of course, the application name you can leave alone. And then the IP address is that other IP that we looked at in the little black box. Again, very similar to the router, but this 101 is the internal IP address of the computer that you're sitting in front of. Um, again, yours will probably be a different number, but very similar. Um, you need to make sure that this box is checked also. And then the port that we need to, to forward is 3389 for remote access. You can make this custom, I believe. You would just have to append it to the IP address when you try to connect in and specify the port. Otherwise, uh, just use 3389 and you shouldn't have to worry. So, again, 3389 and TCP and UDP, make sure the box is checked. Hit Save Settings. I'm not going to do that here since it's already set. Um, and then, really, you're, you're finished. There's not a whole lot else to do. Um, how you access this, uh, so if you're at work and you want to remote into your home computer, you would go to Start, All Programs, Accessories, and Remote Desktop Connection is what you're looking for. Very simple, and then what you would do is you would type in your external IP address, which I haven't shown you how, how, to, uh, how to get offhand. I don't know what mine is, and I'm not going to share it here because otherwise people would be trying to connect in. Um, but how to get that, if you just go to what is my IP address.com again I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hit enter here because my IP address will pop up in a 2000 size font and let everybody see it um, but it'll just be another series of numbers 24.180. whatever it, the, it, everyone's will be completely different but that is what you would type in in the remote desktop connection box um, we'll see if I can actually connect to another PC that's on my network here um, let's see if I remember. I think this is another one. Sure enough, it is. Um, so what happens is you get prompted for your credentials here. Um, type in your user ID and your password. This is my wife's name. This is her computer. If you want, you can click the Remember uh, My Credentials button. Um, then it'll obviously save your, save your ID and password. Otherwise, just click OK. You might get a prompt like this. I always check the box for don't ask me again for connections to this computer. Hit yes to connect. And there we have it. Now it's connecting to the wife's computer. Looks like she was on Pinterest. And it just kicked me out. She was probably logged in while I was making this video. <laughs> but uh, that's exactly how it would work. You connect to the computer and you're, and you're set to go. You'd see the desktop exactly as you would as if you were sitting in front of it. But from anywhere in the world that's got an internet connection. If you guys have any questions or if you stumble through this at all, maybe I've missed something, feel free to leave a comment in the section below if it helped you out. Um, I would certainly appreciate a thumbs up uh, right below the video as well. I'm going to be doing some other, uh, other videos on computer how-to type things, help desk, uh, things like that. So feel free to subscribe also. Thanks for watching.